Hey, all you zealous and zerglings, it's time for another Team Mono Battle, the theme for the week. And we've got Dunamai here as the Blue Terran, teamed up with the Pink Zerg Contrarian, and they're going up against the Purple Zerg Spartan, and the Yellow Protoss Wolfpack. And let's see what units we've got to deal with. Oh, looks like we got Infestor Phoenix against Hydra Medivac. This is interesting. And uh, <laughs> Where's Wolfpack's unit? He's the one doing Phoenixes, so <laughs> this could be interesting, to say the least. And, and I, I guess they're keen to go with it, so I'm keen to stick with it. This could be uh, the most interesting battle of the night. I mean, Phoenix, Infester, Hydra Medivac. Who's the one doing medevacs? I'm sure Dunamai is thrilled that he is stuck making medevacs, but they can help the Hydralisks. Hydralisks are very squishy. You add a medevac to that, they could be very powerful, and they will own the phoenixes, but you got to watch out for the infestors because they get off good fungals with those, and the Hydralisks are going to get completely destroyed with or without the medevacs. And the nice benefit is, all these are later game units, so we are going to have to see who can macro the quickest up to that. These are both both Lair Tech, and these are both Air Tech. So this is going to be an interesting battle. No one seems to be complaining. The Phoenix will do fantastic against the Metafax <laughs> if they can get near them. Getting a little bit of lag now. I had some technical difficulties trying to get this going. Well, technical difficulties... And the fact that the last time we tried this, the, these were all random units. The last time we tried that, someone got Mothership. As interesting as that would be, I don't even think they would get there before the game would be over. So we're just going to have to see how this works out. He's getting a forge. Looks like uh, Wolfhack's going to try to do some cannons right away until he can get those Phoenixes out. And it's really gonna it's really gonna be down to infested Terrans to win the game for this team, because those are the only things that can kill buildings. So, I don't know, I almost got to give a slight edge here to Contrarian because he's got the the only true attacking unit that can actually win the game. I mean, uh, the only way that Phoenix can win the game is if everything else is dead but the Terran buildings that can lift off and he keeps them in the air. And getting the engineering bay, I, well, I guess he wants to get missile turrets for those Phoenix, but it's going to be a while to get Phoenix. He won't be seeing those anytime soon. Is he going to actually scout with this, or is he going to wall off with this? Oh, it'd be awesome if he scouted with it. Not that there's really anything he needs to scout, and Spartans are going to go for the expansion. I don't even know if Spartans have ever made an Infester before, so I'm really interested to see how he handles this. These are all going to be units that none of these guys are all that familiar with, although, well, Contrarian's done Hydralisks before, so I give, I'm going to give him the edge right now. I'm sure Dunamai's made Medivacs, but, you know, it's Medivacs. So, this <laughs> is just going to be absolutely interesting. Very unique. I mean, while uh, Contrarian's the only one with a pure attacking unit, uh, both of these guys can make units that can do some damage. And, in fact, Wolfpack could get this Phoenix and start sniping Overlords and... and Contrarian's not going to be able to build up his army that big, so he's got to be mindful of that and keep his overlords safe. Maybe keep him near the queen. I've always wondered, can the queen attack here? It looks like the queen can attack. They didn't disable the queen, so theoretically he get a bunch of queens, and he's getting his lair out now because he's going to need those hydralisks. So he will be getting some attacking units soon, and where is that starport? Oh, Dunamai, where is your starport? You want to get those medevacs out to start healing those hydralisks as soon as possible. There's the starport. And uh, both Wolfpack and Spartan are expanding. Do we have an infestation pit out yet? No, we don't even have a lair yet. We don't even have a spawning pool yet. Wow. Spartan going for the hatch before pool. That is ballsy. But, and again, he doesn't have to worry until until there's a lair up, but there is a lair up now, and this is probably the Hydralisk Den on the way, so we could have attacking units any time. Fortunately, Hydralisks are abysmally slow off creep, so they'll be at your base sometime um, by New Year's. You can ring in the New Year's with Hydralisks. What fun! Who doesn't want to ring in the New Year's with Hydralisks? 
and Wolfpack does have his Stargate up, so he probably will be starting those ever-valuable Phoenixes. Phoenixes? Phoeni? Phoenicians? He's going to get some Phoenicians here, I think. We're definitely going to build Phoenicians over here. And here goes the Phoenix production. Oh, this is... I am excited for this. I can't wait to see how these things turn out. And getting the reactor down for his Metavax. Actually, he probably could get a tech lab, too. Get... You need to get another starport down. Get a tech lab on it and research the the energy upgrade for the medevac, so that they will start with more energy. That is what you want to do. But he looks like he's going to be looking to expand. Not going to be getting out a second starport yet. Maybe he doesn't think he needs to. And we can now start seeing hydros production. Do we have any hydros coming out yet? No hydros coming out yet. And let's check the unit count. We have one Phoenix. Yep, we have one Phoenix. That is the entire content of the army on this map. I'm not counting the Queens. And you shouldn't either. Shame on you for even suggesting it. And do we have a lair up yet? Here comes the lair really late. Getting now a spine crawler. I don't know why I wouldn't get it up out up here. Is building up a lot of gas, which he's going to need for those expensive infestors. And the layer's up now. We need to get that infestation pit up as soon as possible. You need to get as many infestors out as you can and get their energy built up. Get their upgrades because you want to be able to get as many fungals on the hydrolysis as you can. But then you also have to save energy for infested Terrans because those are the only things that can kill buildings here. Now, you don't necessarily need to kill all the buildings to win this game. You I mean, you kill off his army, you kill off his economy. He, he's, I mean, what is he going to do? So, killing off the uh, buildings not necessarily critical. I mean, it's not like Dunamai is going to be killing off yours. I mean, he can't even drop Hydralisks. Oh, he's going to... Oh, that is nice. He used the factory to build a tech lab. I think he's going to research that upgrade and then switch it over here on this reactor. If that is what you're doing, Dunamai, then that was very smart. And Oh, he landed it wrong. He missed the tech lab. You're going to have to relift that up. But he does have medevacs out now. Healing... Well, they're going to just be healing the queens and drones right now because I don't see any hydralisks out yet. Why are we not seeing any hydralisks yet? Ooh, ventral sa Oh... Contrarian, are you going to do a drop? You better get this pneumatized carapace then, because otherwise it is going to be the most... Re <laughs> the only thing slower than Hydralisks off creep, I think, is an Overlord drop without Overlord speed. Oh, and there's the Pathogen Gland upgrade. Very smart of Spartan to get that out first, because if you wait, for, if you wait 30 seconds on this, and let's watch this. Is he going to wait 30 seconds in, until he starts getting infestors, and then he will be able? They will spawn with a fungal growth in the chamber, basically. So now you can start making infestors, Spartan. You can start making infestors now, and you are going to be golden. And we finally do have some hydros coming out here for Contrarian and a medevac for Dunamai. And did he finally? He did finally get that moved over, and I, he, I think he's getting ready to get that upgrade as soon as he can afford it. Where is it? The Corvid Reactor. No, that's for the Ravens. Where is... No, that's Cloaking Field. Caduceus. That's it. The Caduceus Reactor. And you can afford it now, so get that Caduceus up. Get that thing researching, boy. Get that thing researching. Or not. And there come the Infestors. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. And these Phoenix could be doing some harassment, especially on Dunamai, who's not defending his mineral line. His, his missile turrets are forward. I guess it'll be... I mean, he could just fly his Phoenix in the back here and then just start picking up SCBs and sniping them. And, oh, your supply blocked. And uh, Dunamai, just get the Caduceus reactor. There's no other reason for you to have a tech lab on here right now. And, uh-oh... We got a Hydralisk Force moving out, and do we have any Infestors to take care of them? Where are the Infestors? He does have some static defenses. They won't last that long against Hydralisk, and they're moving out. Who are they going to attack first? It's not a very big force. There are six Hydralisks. He's got a, I think he's got enough Phoenix where he can take care of this Hydralisk force if they're not careful and they're going to sit at the Watchtower. I think that's wise. They need a bigger force. 
And now the infestors were out. A lot of spine crawlers really going to defend it. And you can do a lot from behind the spine crawler wall. But if they go this way first, oh, but now you got the photon cannons, which Hylos not the most durable, but they will they will chew up these static defenses. But maybe the medevacs will make a difference. You don't often see medevacs healing Hydrolux and mass. There's the Caduceus Reactor. I'm glad we finally saw that. That is absolutely the greatest thing ever. And when this is done, I expect him to lift this off, drop it on the reactor, and then just start mass producing the medevacs. And it will be sweet. And the peasants will rejoice. And all will be well in the land. Oh, Terran building armor. Not a bad plan, although... Not a lot of things are going to be shooting at your buildings. Just infested Terrans. Infested Terrans are the only things that can shoot at your buildings unless you lift them off. So, I don't know if building armor is the best investment, but hey, just that a added durability could be a good thing. And we're getting more expansions now. Everyone's been a little bit tenuous. They don't know what to expect, and I don't blame them. Oh, we're getting hive tech up right now, and I'm not really sure the point of getting hive tech... Because the only thing it's good for is getting your level 3 carapace. Maybe level 3 attack. The infested Terrans will benefit from this. So he might want to actually get that. Because he needs those infested Terrans to be as efficient as possible if he wants to take out buildings. So this might not be a bad idea. But he hasn't even researched level 1 yet. So the hive at this point is a waste of money. And But what he was wanting, I think he wants to get that. I don't know if he needs it, but I think he wants to get it. I, don't know, I, I guess he could mind control the medevacs to prevent the healing, med, mind control a couple of hydralists. It might not be the best use of energy in this scenario, but you might as well get it. Just have it there, you know? Just, just for kicks, you know? That whole crazy scene. We're going to get level 2 attack on those phoenixes, which will allow them to do... Right now they do 11 versus light times 2 because they do get a double attack. And guess what? Hydralisks are light units, and medevacs are... Oh, medevacs are not light units. That kind of surprised me. I expected them to be light, but they are not. They are just armored mechanical. And the forces are moving out now. It looks like they're going to avoid Spartan altogether, and they're going to move in to this little force, but there's a lot of Phoenix there, and they can lift up a lot of Hydralisks if they're not careful. Here come the Phoenix. You gotta lift them up. Lift them up and shoot. Lift them up. You can lift up more than one at a time. And there's the fungal growth. I think they're gonna break down this wall, but they're gonna get a lot of fungals off. And you gotta be careful. Wolfpack, what are you doing? You could lift up half this army. You're not using you're not using your phoenixes to their maximum potential. Just start lifting off Hydralis and keep those fungals coming. Oh, and now he's getting his phoenixes sniped. I don't think... It doesn't look like they did enough damage. Oh, well, there's a lot more phoenixes. Yeah, start sniping those medevacs. Oh, and now all the probes are getting sniped. It might just turn out that having the pure attacking unit and the hydros might just be too much for this force. But by gum wolfpack, you can lift these up. Instead, we're just getting kind of getting one fungal at a time, but it looks like he might finish these off. More fungals are coming. I don't think it's going to be enough. He's not producing any more infestors. He has the money for it. Why is he not producing infestors? He needs infestors. And don't get your phoenix sniped. And this is not looking good. I guess this was this was somewhat predictable. But wow, really putting on the uh, photon cannons there. But they're not going to be done in time. Unless we can get some more fungals off. But no, there's no support here from his ally. Where are the infestors? Why are none being... Pro oh, he's got five infestors on the way. But it's going to be too late to save, to save any of these photon cannons. And look, they're perfectly clumped up right now. If you got an infester there, you could fungal probably the entire army, but there are no infestors. Where are the infestors? There are no infestors. Oh, now nah, I think there's just too many hydralisks now. 
unless you get some serious infestors coming out, they're, they're not going to be able to stop this force. And it looks like Wolfpack is going to go down. Even throwing down the offensive missile turret to spot for burrowed infestors. Dunamai, I salute you for that one. That was forward thinking. That's a forward turret. Uh, oh, but we have fun. Here come the infestors. Are they going to get off some good fungals? They do get off one fungal. Got to keep fungling, keep fungling. Oh, he's getting him sniped. No! He's not getting off the fungals he needs, I think. And now I think it's too late. Yeah, he's starting to run low on gas. And Wolfpack's base is almost gone. He still has this one. He's not rebuilding. He's rebuilding a forge. So apparently he's going to try to cannon his way to victory. And I'm not sure what the fleet beacon is for. Maybe for upgrades. But I don't think he got anywhere near having the upgrades he needed. Do still have any Phoenix alive? He did get plus two. So maybe he was, maybe he was ready for the fleet beacon to get his plus three attack. I mean, they're not done yet, but I don't see these anything stopping these Hydralis. He's just not getting out enough infestors. And yeah, he can turtle here with all these spines, but he can only turtle so long before he just loses the war of attrition. And that's a lot of Hydralis. Oh, but they would be ill-advised to... Well, I was going to say they'd be ill-advised to go up against this on their own, but it's not a lot of spine crawlers there. A lot more here, but it doesn't look like they're going to be attacking there. But you can get, like I said, you can get a lot of fungals up from under that line, but no, it's just going to get that one fungal up. And oh, there goes the queen getting sniped. A lot of lag going on. These hydralists are lagging my machine, or somebody's machine. Uh, it was an it was an interesting idea, but it would have probably taken a lot of micro from these guys to go up against this many hydralists. Even bringing in the overlords, I mean, unless that was just an accident, that might have just been a rally point. Yeah, that base is gone. And he does not have nearly enough spine crawlers to stop this force. You saw all the well those spine crawlers did. I don't think static defenses are going to win you the game, but hey, you can try it. At this point, I think it's too late. He just They need a ton of infestors to take out these hydralists. I mean, how much, how much does a fungal do? 36 damage. So you would need three fungals to take out a hydralisk. Not bad. Uh, lurping out infested Terrans, not gonna, not gonna do it. The fungals are your best bet at this point. But, oh, he's gonna get his infester to snipe. Oh, now he's trying to pump out those infested Terrans. Ah, I think it's gonna be too late. And I don't think Spartan can. Or, yeah, I don't think Spartan can. Yeah, and Spartan's gonna drop out of this one. There are just too many Hydralisks. Now is Wolfpack going to join him, or is he just going to sit here and see how long those Photon Cannons last? Here's the secret. They won't last long. Alright, so he took out this base. Yeah, there's nothing left. Spartan is, uh... Which out of forces? Shouldn't it say he's out of forces? Maybe not. Maybe he's got some overlords left or something. Do they even know where he is? They do not know where Wolfpack is yet, but they have a lot of map vision, so it's probably a safe bet. They, yeah, they seem to be heading right toward him. Oh, he did manage to get some Phoenix up to harass. So good on you, Wolfpack, for uh, being the uh, the fly in their in their soup. Wow, I gotta stop using analogies because they are awful. 
I don't know why these hydros are all doing in the corner. And it looks like Spartan can't even stick around anymore. Yeah, you're too late for these cannons. So let's just sit back and watch the hydros coolly and calmly take down the photon cannons. As we say, good night to yet another fantastic evening of StarCraft. I hope you enjoyed this mono battle and the mono battles to precede it. And I want each and every one of you out there watching this in your comfy beds or your comfy sofas or your comfy chairs to have a day.